the set list was already written. I don't want you to think that I'm like uh, uh, indulging how amazing you are by playing more quiet ones. <laughs> Some rooms, you look at the set list, you go, it's another quiet one. They're not ready for another quiet one. They're not, they're gonna, uh, I don't name names, but there's some rooms you go, time to go to the next loud one on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to play a song about professional wrestling. <laughs> one way you can tell which is my favorite song on a record is look for which one is last. <laughs> I should explain, because some of you aren't into professional wrestling, and would be mystified by this song otherwise. So, uh, so in professional wrestling, which is to be distinguished from amateur wrestling, in that it's wrestled by professionals. <laughs> there is a number of different styles of matches. It's not just, you know, it's not just, not just some guys grappling and trying to figure out how to beat each other. No, there's, there's like, there's some, there's, there's, my, one of my favorites back when I was a child, I took it so seriously, it was the Loser Leaves Town match. <laughs> they should have this in music. <laughs> like, but if you're, if you're 12, and, and, and you're, even if you've been told over and over, I, but my stepfather, whose father had been a wrestling promoter in Indiana in the 40s, would like, just hit me all, all this, like, none of this is real. I knew it, but it doesn't matter because children and mature people know something can both be true and false at the same time, right? It's like, even, like that's how we manage to read books. <laughs> It's not like they'll watch a movie and think, oh, you know, you can actually do the both things. It's, and people are weird about wrestling, right, with this. We go, no, it's not real. Right. Neither is Mission Impossible. And yet, <laughs> yet I watched that guy jump out of the plane and I got excited. <laughs> so, but, uh, but, but so the Loser Leaves Town match is the one, I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. <laughs> My theory about it in adulthood is that, like, like one of the guys, because this is the days of the territories, right? Uh, the territories in wrestling meant that there was not like a big wrestling company that ran coast to coast. There are all these little fiefdoms and they were very small change operations. Nobody was getting rich except for maybe the owner, which is a very familiar story. Um, <laughs> NFL, right? So, uh, but, uh, NCAA, pay your players. Um, so, uh, goddamn right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, my theory is that one of the wrestlers who, again, are making peanuts would tell the local player, hey man, um, my, my dad is going to the hospital and I gotta go to Arizona uh, for a week. To, I wanna be with dad. You know, is there something I could do to, to get out of the next week and a half worth of work? Yeah, man, you gotta lose a loser leaves town match. Right? And then you won't have to, you can't even be here. That'll work out. Can you do that? Can you take the take a fall for losing? Oh yeah, no, I gotcha. So he loses, then he gets to, or maybe it's just for a vacation. It's time to, time to take a little break. Go lose it. So, so that's one. There was a rope match, which is incredibly sexual, where the, the guys are, are tied to each other by the ankles with a rope. Right? And then they have to fight each other with the rope, right? And I think if one guy gets the rope off, then theoretically he wins, but he usually, before he finishes winning, beats the other guy with the rope that once bound them together. It's hot stuff. But the hair match is like the most Greco-Roman of them all because, and they would do it all the time back then. Like the loser has to get shaved, bald, in the center of the ring. And, and he sits there on, on the cheapest chair they could find. You know, it was like a classroom chair, you know, a pale tan, and it's paint flaking. And he sits there while the razor buzzes. And because in those days they weren't doing it for TV, the people tend not to cheer. They just watch. <laughs> You'll be maybe lunging for the bad guy is him. No one anticipates the sun set flip. The referee and your opponent will hold you there. Bring in a folding chair.
We'll stipulate that there will be no cameras filming. But of course, there will be several in the building. And if by chance somebody hits record and stands real still somewhere back behind the soundboard. Cheap electric razor from the thrifty down the street. Two guys down around your ankles, so you'll stay put in your seat. Buzzing razor held aloft and just about to strike. Some people leave before it's over, but most of them stay. Some hide behind their programs, some look away. Out in the parking lot, you look up. All the cheap cars 